let's be friends like disciples. Now that you have so much spare time, why don't you try learning something new? Spend more time with God, or you could even learn a new language. Mucho gracias. Spend more family time. Example, family gardening. Since you're home and not, you're still going to school, but we should take this time to read the Bible, spend more time with God. Go in a quiet space that will be quiet and pray to God and ask Him for help. Have an attitude of gratitude. 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 16 to 18. Rejoice always, for without season. In everything, give thanks, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you. And remember, remember keep a song in your heart. A message from the story bunch. Good afternoon, my lovely church family. I take this opportunity to wish you all God's richest blessings, His love, His peace. I know that we are going through so much right now, but I just want to encourage us to take some time to reflect on God's goodness because when we really think on it, we're only here because of His goodness and His love and His grace and His mercy. Last night I had to take some time to just reflect on my favorite Bible text, which is Psalms 46.10, be still and know that I am God. In all the chaos, let's try our best to still our minds, still our hearts, and tune into God and just know that He is God indeed, and He will see us through this. So no matter what you're going through, let's try to be there for each other, whether it's a call, a WhatsApp, a thought, a prayer, and to be there for one another as God would expect us to be. So as the Sabbath draws near, I want to wish us all a happy Sabbath, that we will have some time to reflect on His goodness and to indeed relax. God bless you, I love you, and happy Sabbath. Happy Sabbath, everyone. Just my scripture for inspiration for this week, I came across um, Romans 5, 3 to 4. It says, and not only so, but we glory in tribulation also, knowing that tribulation walketh patience, and patience experience, and experience hope. So don't mind we're going through tribulations right now. There's always hope, and I'm very happy that God has promised us hope that we can depend on. Brothers and sisters, good afternoon from myself and Crystal and we are just coming to you to bring you a word of encouragement during these unprecedented and troubling times. We know that it can be a time of discouragement but we would just like to encourage you not to give up hope because remember God is our refuge and he is our help in time of trouble. Though we may be tempted to throw the towel in Remember that he has promised us that he will never leave us, he will never forsake us. Um, and I would like to share my favorite Bible verse, Psalms 91 verse 11. For he shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee in all thy ways. Brothers and sisters, let us be faithful. Let us look to Jesus, who shall soon be the author and finisher of our faith. Let us remember those patriarchs of old, such as Joseph, Daniel, Meshach, Sherak, and Abednego. Those men were men of faith, men that put their trust in God, men that stood up for the right, even though the heaven fall. May God help us his children in these closing days of our history to be strong in the Lord and in the prophet's word, to put on the whole arm of God. And finally, we shall make heaven a class.